Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for pushing that play button. I hope you push the like button on this video and if you haven't already, I really hope you push the subscribe button and join my YouTube family. It has been wonderful to watch it grow and I cannot thank all of you enough for that because because of you, that's why my channel is growing. So thank you so, so much. I am watching that number. I can't wait to do another giveaway at 500 subscribers and so I need you to hit the subscribe button to help get us there so I can give away more awesome items. If you have not watched my winner of the giveaway video yet and you entered to win, please check it because I've only had one person respond and so I'm waiting to be able to mail out the other price. So with that, I am ready to get into today's Dollar Tree haul. I'm really excited because I found several of my wish list items that I have been watching for in the stores. And so, I mean, they're not like the big, big wish list items, but they're things that I've seen other people haul that I really, really wanted. And so it's always really exciting to find those items. And even though they're not like, you know, the crazy big ones, they make me excited. So I can't wait to share them with you. So I'm gonna get started. First I'll do the boring food items. And these are some of the things I've seen other people haul and I wanted to watch out for them. They might be there all the time, but it's something I don't necessarily pay attention to. So I got these, they are the Bumblebee Albacore Tuna. And in the stores, cause I did take a glance at my local grocery store. So in my stores, these are like, I think 239 or maybe close to $3. And so picking them at a dollar is amazing so i grabbed two because we don't eat a ton of tuna fish in the house but it's nice to have them on hand these don't expire until 2024 so it's good to just kind of have these in the pantry for those moments where tuna fish sounds good so i grabbed those and then i saw lisa from pookie's view call these and i they thought i mean they sounded delicious so i was like you know what i need to keep an eye out for them they are co coquitos um, I don't know how to say it. It's a product of Mexico. They are coconut flavored cookies and I love coconut. I love the smell. I love the drinks and I will hopefully also love the cookies. So I got these to try out. They are best before March of 2022. So they have a little bit of a life on them as well. So I'm going to give those a taste. And like I said, I had seen someone haul them. So I really wanted to try them. And I was glad to get them. Well, at the going shopping today. Oops, I found some water bottles. We are going into school supply season as we all know and all the kids on their school supply lists call for clear water bottles with their names on them. So I got these four colors for now trying to figure out what to do for each child and I like to use the Cricut, put their names on them and then that way they have their water bottles for the year. And so I got white, green, blue, and pink so far with these. I like them, they're BPA free. The tops of these are awesome. They just flip up like that. And then they can just drink out of them really easily. And I feel like that these are sturdy enough if they get dropped. So I got these as one of the ideas for school for their water bottles. And then that way too, we can look at what colors each child wants. And I also want to do gift baskets. I'm going to knock this over. It's going to be loud. When I do gift baskets, I like to do water bottles in them. So if I buy some extra, I never feel sad about it because I always like to personalize them and put them in gift baskets for people. And while looking at the cups, I found the shaker bottles. And I got it in the clear and in the black. I wish that they had a different color lid for the black so it wasn't so dark on this one, like a white lid or something just to kind of lighten it up. I love blender bottles and I usually get them because of the look and I really usually like, like the white clear ones with like bright colors and stuff. And so I figure I can use my Cricut and I could design this the way I like it. It's just the lid that doesn't do it for me. But these are cool. They come with the, the little blender balls inside. They're a little plastic ones. So different than the shaker bottles that have the metal ones, but these probably aren't as obnoxious of like getting tangled in with each other. If you have several shaker bottles and if you get those little metal balls together, they get all tangled up and it's a pain in the butt to get them undone. So that's the good thing about the plastic ones. So I grabbed those. My last haul I had this, but with the mint blue color on it and I found the pink one. I'm gonna use this in my bedroom because I've mentioned we're redecorating and we're gonna do a blush pink and rose gold in our bedroom. And so I thought that this would be really pretty up in there with these colors. So I grabbed it cause you know, I liked it. I hit of course the home and beauty and makeup aisle and 
just I did not find much like I don't have any good neighbor and makeup this go around which is really sad because the last one was such a hit with that palette and this time just nothing but I guess that's Dollar Tree makeup it's hit or miss so I picked this up I've never grabbed this before I don't know how good it is it is the double strength retinol night repair serum with for flawless younger perfect skin and so why not I guess I guess the why not is sometimes um, you don't want to do anything on your skin that's terrible um, it's from school skin nutrition's distributed by skin beauty international it says it's developed in New York but made in China I I figure I'll give it a try and see how my skin reacts to it and then if it's just not good then I'll stop but I've looked at it a couple different times and I finally decided to pick it up so we will see I have seen this lotion hauled and also just notes that this goes for a whole lot more than a dollar even for this little tube I think it's like five or six or even maybe more but I love avocado and so I figured it's nice to try this it's Captree and Evelyn London avocado oil and basil ultra most moisturizing hand therapy so I'm gonna give it a try I like lotion a lot so why not and this is great size for your purse or for traveling or something so I grabbed that and then I picked up one lipstick it's one of those duos so it's got the lipstick on one side the gloss on the other from LA colors and this one is in clarity so it's just like a pretty kind of brownish pink color I'll be honest I don't know the best color of lipstick for me I don't do like dark reds and stuff I might just buy one and try it out because it's a dollar and some of the pinks are just too light and pink. Some of the browns are just too brown. I don't know. I don't know what lipstick color. If you've watched my hauls before, I'm not a huge lipstick person, but I keep just trying because it's fun to try. But I don't know the best. Today I have on my Tutu to Tango Maybelline Lip Gloss. And it's just got a faint light pink and shine. So I like that. Um, I'll probably stick to the more natural stuff. There's the lip balm that was the... Um, Remy Rose lip balm that had a really faint color to it too and I really like that one so I don't know why I keep buying lipstick when I just I just don't I don't know um I hit up the nail aisle I had mentioned that I'm going to Florida and oops, these nails that I have on have impressed me I'm pushing over a week they are still super stuck and they're just doing really well so I'm wondering if I maybe try to just do glue ons for Florida as opposed to going and getting a manicure and getting my shellac I'm still debating that I have not fully decided yet these ones are no glue needed it's the pill and stick but I would probably use glue if I plan to wear these on vacation and so what I grabbed were two pinks and then this one with the kind of patterns and the teal in it because I really do gravitate towards like the pinks and the teals when I go on vacation and I like to do like my ring finger and middle finger a different color while my other ones are all in a pink and so I thought I could mix it up with this with the patterns of this one to go along with the pinks of that one and so that's why I grabbed them and I figured with the three I have several different manicures that I could do or you know sets with different different combinations and so I grabbed those for that I'm not a hundred percent sure yet these are by the fingers brand so I don't know much about that but I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna do that or not but I have them on hand in case that's what I decide and speaking about going to Florida I have been working on collecting stuff that I need to pack and take and do all that with me and so I grabbed this we are taking obviously our bigger sunscreens because we're gonna be there enough days that we need more sunscreen than just this but it's nice to have a small one on hand that you could just stick in your purse if, like you're not planning actually a beach day but then you end up in the Sun that you're not prepared for and then at least you have some some sunblock with you so I grabbed this banana boat 30 nice and easy and will fit in things I grabbed a lanyard I've been watching for one I bought one of those waterproof phone protectors that you put your phone in I've been actually wearing it at the lake when we go kayaking or at least using it and it came with a lanyard but the problem with the lanyard it came with is it doesn't really tighten all that well so it really hangs really low and so especially when I'm on the kayak and I have my life vest on and then I try to wear that and I'm sitting it just doesn't fit comfortably where it sits high enough up that I want it and so I thought maybe I would try this out and see if this works better the one worry I have is that it's breakaway and I don't want it to break away if I'm in the ocean or 
on a lake or on a reservoir so that's my hesitation with this so we're I'm gonna give it a try we'll see I grabbed a luggage tag it's pineapple and adorable and I love pineapples my husband had taken one of the luggage tags off because it was pink chevron and he took the suitcase once on a trip and so we need to replace that one and it plus it has all my old information on it and stuff so I figured grab this new pineapple one to replace that because our other suitcases have luggage tags on them already. Speaking of my husband, I grabbed this bag. He does have one. I'm going to see if he would prefer to use this one. The zipper on the one that he already has is a little, it's a little sketchy. Sometimes it likes to zip, sometimes it doesn't. And so we'd have to test this one out and see if it's better. And if it's better, see if he wants to use this one instead. Yeah, that feels better already without the stuff in it. And so I grabbed this just to kind of fill that out and see. It's like the same size and stuff, but but I thought these were really nice, so I grabbed that. These were on my wish list item, partially for this trip, and also because I just absolutely love them, and they are these little cosmetic bags. This is that print I've talked about in diff several different hauls that I love this palm tree print that they have this summer, and so I keep picking it up on the items that I find it in. So this one says, Talk to the Palm, and it has the three trees. And this one says good vibes only and it's in that pretty mint color it's got the hot pink like these are just beautiful and I love them and I like to use cosmetic bags to pack stuff in so I grabbed those because I love them and then these ones too I recently saw someone haul and I hadn't seen them in any stores and I told myself I didn't need them because I have enough cosmetic bags and I had to pick them up anyway. So I picked up the one that says tropical. This one has kind of a greener background with the leaves. And then this one says sunny and it has kind of a creamer background with the leaves. And they had one other one that said chillin'. And I decided against that one since I didn't even need these two, but I picked them up anyway. And so I grabbed those cause I just, I love palm leaves. I'm like a sucker. Like I, I just, I'm a sucker. So I got them. I picked up some slippers. These are not great quality, they're not going to last you any kind of anything, but I had watched some travel YouTubes on essentials to bring with you when you travel, and they had talked about, you know, how gross it can be walking around on the floors in rooms, like hotel rooms or Airbnbs or anything like that, and it struck a chord with me that, yeah, like they could be pretty gross, and so for a dollar I can take these slippers, wear them around the Airbnb that we're staying in, and then I can toss them or I can bring them home if, you know, if they last longer than that. But I thought that that was a great idea that I hadn't thought of before. So I picked those up. And on a different one, so I want to talk about sheets and hotels. And if you really watch on how maids take care of their sheets and the washing and or lack thereof, they do of bedding that I don't ever, ever want to think about. I just don't. But they made that point and it made me start thinking and they talked about doing, bringing their own pillowcases. That you wear pajamas typically when you sleep, and so like you're kind of protected from the sheets if they're dirty or not, but your face is on the pillows, and if you just don't know what they're doing with those. So with that, I picked up two pillowcases, one for my husband, one for I. One, they're the satin pillowcases. I've been working on using the satin pillowcases because I have heard and read that satin is much better for your face and hair, for your skin to help reduce wrinkles or, you know, get less wrinkles and good for your hair because it doesn't snag and stuff as easy. So I got the two satin ones because that's what I've been using at home. And I thought that these would be good to travel with. They're black because one, I did the black one, my husband, because black is his favorite color, but also because if I put these on the bed and we go to leave, I'm gonna notice these more than the white ones because everyone uses white in like, you know, hotels and stuff typically because they can bleach them. So I grabbed the two of these to take as travel pillowcases to put on the pillows because I don't know if you really wanna think about, think about it if they're dirty or not. So I grabbed those for that. I grabbed just a to-go Lysol wipes just to have. I'll probably put this in my carry-on, be able to wipe down the airplane potentially or just anything you know that you feel like you need to wipe down i picked up some feminine wipes i love to say that it has happened much more often just in the recent future of going to the bathroom and having no toilet paper in your stall 
So you always just hope that someone comes in next to you and you can say, excuse me, you know, and, and that nice little voice to ask them to hand you over some toilet paper. And it's getting so obnoxious that stalls don't always have toilet paper. So I thought that these would be good for that purpose. I need a little bit bigger of a purse though because the one I'm carrying is too small for this. But these would be just good to carry around just in case that happens. But also when you're traveling, it's just nice to have some some cleansing wipes, you know, just to, to feel fresher whenever it's necessary. And so I grabbed those because I think a dollar is a great price point. And then lastly for the trip, I grabbed this. It is a mesh laundry bag, and I'm not necessarily using it as a laundry bag because if you watched my review, I talked about a bag I got from Ikea that we like to use as a hamper inside our room when we travel. It's sturdy, it sits up, it's easy to zip up, just toss in the bag, and I just like it because it keeps everything contained and then not touching anything else where this has holes in it and it would touch the other items. But this I was thinking for beach items because we'll be hanging out on the beach and things get covered in sand, like covered in sand. And this has all the holes in it, and so all the sand will fall out. And so I thought that this would just be good for any of those items that just get kind of sandy, and you can toss them in here to, to you know, get them away from the sand, let the sand kind of fall out, and then that way it's not all in the bottom of one of your bags. So that's my kind of thought process with this. And then when we're not traveling, I'll also use it for like when we go to beach days here in Colorado. So reservoir beach days or lake days or boat days and stuff like that for that purpose of getting all the sand out of everything. Now, one of my big, big, big wish list items. I can't wait. I am so excited. I found vinyl. And I know some of you have been finding vinyl for months. I know, I know. I looked for like, you know, people's reviews on this vinyl since I found it. And like I've been finding them from like six to three, three to six months ago, people who have been, you know, you testing them and posting about them and stuff. But we haven't hardly been getting them here in Colorado. I have found the transfer tape. I have found the leather once because I haven't seen it since I found it. But the actual vinyl has not, not, I haven't found it. So I got this one. These are removable vinyls. These are all the colors I found them in. So I got the blue and white and the red and black. And that was it. That was all that this store had because I found them at two different stores. So I grabbed these four colors and the removable. And then at one other store, I found the permanent vinyl, which is what I prefer more because I like to put things on water bottles and you need permanent for that. So I got the black, white, and I got the yellow and blue. There was red and green and I wish I would have picked it up, but I'm going to be honest, I couldn't remember what I had picked up at the other store, so I didn't know if I already had them. So I should go back and I should get the red and green because I just feel like it's good to have the different colors for different options. Anywho, so I got the eight of these vinyls and I'm so excited. I have been watching and watching and watching and waiting and waiting and waiting. I found some of the tools. I found some this and that, but the vinyl itself, this is a first. And I hope that that means they're going to keep bringing it in and this isn't like a one-time thing. But even if it is a one-time thing, I'm really happy to get what I got. So that was a huge wish list item. And then here's a boring wish list item that I had are these storage bags. I have already talked about the ones that come in the one pack with the double X large. I have it holding a king size down comforter. So those are amazing to me. But I've been wanting these smaller ones because I want to like pack away sheets and stuff in the same way. But the, the two X is just huge. Like I did put some sheets in it and it's just like only uses like half the bag. And so these I think will be much better for that. So I was really excited to find these. So I did pick up actually three boxes. Partially, I don't know if I want to use them for traveling. I think they'd be great for that too, to get some stuff stored into a bag or into your suitcases. I don't know if that's the plan or not, but mostly for like organizing the house. So I was really excited. I didn't know if I was going to see them again. So I grabbed the three, which equals nine bags. And that made me super excited. And while I was there looking for those, I found these, which are the vacuum seal bags. And I don't know how good these are. Have you, if you've used these, please comment down below and let me know if they work. Do they, you know, actually stay vacuumed, like vacuum sealed and actually save your space? Because if that's the case, then this might be a better option for sheets or the things that you're just not going to use all that often. These are size large. I don't know how big they get because I haven't used them yet. I've seen people in their like traveling things use these for travel where like they put their beach towels and stuff in it but my worry is is I wouldn't have a vacuum on vacation to repack it and so if I make it fit going by using this what if I can't make it fit coming home because I can't vacuum the air out yeah so that's one of my worries about this I saw someone where they used this and they rolled it and got all the air out that way so I might give that a try and see 
because I'm very curious. I want to save space in my luggage as best as possible, like with towels and stuff, because I want to take our own beach towels. But yeah, but I'm excited for these, at least even for home organization. So if you've used these before, please comment below and let me know how you feel about it. Also, the, the vinyl. If you've used this vinyl, can you comment below and let me know your thoughts and your views and how it's worked for you? Because I'm really curious. I'm going to start trying to use it, but I'm really, really curious how other people feel about it. Okay, for the kids, I'm almost done. Yep, for the kids, this was on a, my wish list item um, because I'm doing a birthday party for my daughter Lorelai. We're doing the cute food theme, which along with that, I found another one of these in the most random spot ever. So I got two of these, but I figure when you're throwing a party and you have a couple different tables, it's just nice to throw a, a centerpiece on there because they're cute. Um, but it just cracks me up because that little taco is just perfect. Like that's a little taco friend right there it just matches and it fits so when I saw these I had to pick them up they have a chili pepper as well I didn't grab the chili pepper because none of the kids like chili peppers but I got the pizza and the taco and I just think that they're so adorable and I almost feel like I want a couple more to just be decorations and then for the kids to each have them when they're done because they're really cute but my husband will kill me because he says they don't need any more stuffies we'll see because they're cute so I got those, they were on my wish list item, or list, my wish list, list, yeah. Um, in the toy section, I also found these. I have several different of the building block things that are on my, my list, so I walk through the toys every single time because they're coming out with all these really cool pieces for their Legos, and these ones are the only things I found so far on that list. So I found the box of the 100 blocks, but they have like the, the storage box that is made out of the blocks, and they have the roads. And those are the ones that I actually want more than like this. But I picked this up because I found it. And so it, we got the baseball diamond. The basketball court. And then the football field. And on these, they show their little figures. Except for those are, I don't know if those are their figures. So they show their little figures right there. Like playing a game of basketball. And playing a game of football. I'm playing a game of baseball, but I haven't seen any of their figures in the store like that. Have you guys seen any of the figures that like are the sports figures? I'm curious if they're putting them out, if they're coming. I don't know. I'm just curious because I've not seen those, but they have pictures of them like they exist. So I'll keep an eye out, like look through their figures, but they all look like the same figures that they've had for a really long time. And I've never seen like the sports ones like that. And then lastly, from Dollar Tree, I know that this is huge right now, are these calendars. My store did have a box of them with several different of the calendars. And I am not farmhouse. My, I, I said that actually in my last haul that my decor is not farmhouse. It is probably more modern industrial. I'm not really even sure, but it's not really farmhouse. I do know some of these prints on this are really cute. And I do like like the the wood background look, the like shiplack look, but it's not like my big thing. So I got this possibly for a giveaway because I want to do a giveaway at my 500 subscribers. So to put to the side until then because I know that this is a hot item. And so if someone's still looking for it at that time, then I can give it as a giveaway because I know it's a big one. But um, if I don't end up doing that, I could probably do something with the prints. And I really like the 4th of July one or the, like, the July one. Of course, I really like the summer one. Hello, summer with a pineapple. I'm not sure what month that is. January, February, March, April, May, maybe? Ju June, maybe? Um, always be grateful. is really cute with a grater, but that's just, it's just not totally my style. So a couple of them I really like, but really I just wanted to buy it to be able to give it away. So... Hopefully I get my 500 subscribers soon and then I can make someone's life happy and get them this calendar. Um, and then lastly, I was going to show my husband and I have been working on redoing a bathroom. And so we've been hitting up Lowe's and Home Depot a whole lot. And I just was really excited about this clearance find that I found at Lowe's. So if you have a Lowe's near you, always look at their clearance. The Home Depot clearance didn't impress me near as much. It was mostly just like dude stuff. But the Lowe's has more of like the home goods ish stuff and so 
this was a super exciting find. If you see up here, the normal price is over $17 and it was marked down to $4.49. It was $17.98, $4.49. And my shower could definitely use a new one of these. What I have in there right now is the one from Dollar Tree, which has worked and it has worked for a very long time and it's in there. But this gives so much more space for my taller bottles. It actually will sit lower because I'm really short. So it'll be nice to be able to reach it a little bit better. It's got like some like hanging racks right here that you can hang some stuff like I just feel like it has so much more space and then this one can hold the things that I don't, I don't use as often or I can reach up for. So I was really excited to find this for the $4.49. So really excited. Just wanted to show you that and say if you ever go to Lowe's for any like projects, try to find those end caps that say clearance because you just never know what you're going to find. I wasn't looking for that, but I knew that I wanted one. So it just kind of worked out. Well, that's what I have today. Please don't forget to like this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you have, I want to say thank you so, so much for being here. I appreciate it so much, and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye.